So what we're going to have a look at in this video is Python dictionaries. So previously we've looked at uh, lists in Python. So a list is a set or a collection of items that we uh, refer to by number. So if we had something like this, so lists are created uh, using uh, square brackets. So if you had A, B and C for example, so that's a list of items, comma separated and you can mix the types unlike an array. If we had a list uh, zero, for example, so they're, they're numbered from the start, so the first item is zero and then one and then two. So list zero uh, would give us um, A and list uh, two, for example, would give us C. And if we said anything bigger than two, we get an error saying that the uh, subscript was out of range. Uh, so dictionaries are basically the same idea as that, except we can refer to the item by name. Um, this also occurs in other programming languages and sometimes has the name associative array. So if you hear an associative array uh, mentioned in a programming language, it's the same as a dictionary in Python. So um, the way we create them is, I'm just going to call it uh, dict to save some writing. Uh, we use curly brackets. And then what we do is we have pairs of uh, what are called keys and values. So if we said, um, for example, A, so that's the, the key, and then uh, a value, which is 1. And again, these keys and values can be anything. So they can be integers, strings, uh, booleans, etc. Uh, so if we had B, uh, colon, uh, 2, and then we had uh, C, colon, uh, three for example and then close with curly brackets if we said so instead of using a number what we do is we use the key as the kind of index if you like so if we said um, a uh, then what that would give us is one and if we said uh, dict uh, c for example what that would give us is three so that's the principle. It's basically the same as a list or an array, but instead of a number, we use a value called a key. So how are we going to use those in practice? So what I've done here is I've set up a, a dictionary, and what I've got is pairs of um, usernames and for names. So what I can do is if I want to validate somebody, for example, I can get them to log in using their username, uh, but then show their actual name. So if I run my program now, obviously it won't do anything, but what it shows us is that we can do lots of this, lots of things with a, um, a dictionary that you can do with a list. So you can type the name and get it to appear. Um, you can also use in. So you can say is av in user, and it will give you a true or a false, just the same as you can do with a list. So what we could do is we could use this for both validation and for showing... Um, the person's actual name. So what we could do is something like this. So, so I'm going to say username, which is we're going to use as their username. Uh, we'll set it to blank uh, to begin with because I'm going to use a while. So I'm going to say while a username not in user. So while the username is not a value in the list and it just uses it uses the keys for this. So it uses the first one. So it'll be A, V, J, S or D, E. Then we're going to say uh, username equals input. Um, so username. So um, obviously, in a proper program, I would word this more uh, you know, word this nicely. And if they got it wrong, I would say that's not a valid username. Please try again, something like that. Uh, but for the purposes of the demonstration, that's probably enough. So I'm going to keep asking for their username until they provide one that's in a list. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, print hello and we're going to print their actual name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a username as the index, if you like, uh, as the key uh, into user. So I'm going to look up the um, what the value is from the dictionary of that particular username. So uh, let's run this. So let's just check that it uh, rejects invalid usernames. So it's checking it's in the list. A, B, C isn't. One, two, three isn't but AV is. So when I press enter, what it should say is, if we just check the dictionary, it should say, hello, Andrew, um, which it does. There we go. So hello, Andrew. That's quite useful. So that's using um, 
a dictionary as a kind of lookup and we did that kind of thing if you remember back in um, the list video when we were generating random numbers for days of the week because when you generate a random number it has to be a number but you can use that as a list index uh, so we can turn a random number into a day of the week or a person for example so um, that's a similar idea to that uh, what it's also useful for is for um, kind of counting up things so for example if you were doing something like frequency analysis uh, in encryption or if you wanted to write a program to do Huffman coding what you need to do is count up how many times each letter appears so what I could do is I could take, create a dictionary um, just like um, lists or tuples you can create an empty dictionary and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say text equals um, input give me some text and, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop through that so I'm going to say for a char in text so char is just a variable name so uh, I've just called it that because what we're doing is we're looping through text and char will become each character in the text in turn and what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to check whether it's in the alphabet already so if the character is in my alphabet so alphabet isn't the full alphabet it's just the um, list of symbols used in that particular uh, message so if it is in there already then we're going to increment that value that's in there so we're going to say alphabet um, char so char is the key um, and then we're just going to add one so the key is going to be the letter and the value is going to be how many times it occurs so it doesn't occur at all in there to begin with I could start off with the full alphabet in there but I only want a list of really the letters that are used so I'm going to say plus equals one now the reason I don't do that anyway um, just always do that the reason I've included the if is because if I try to add one and the the key wasn't in the dictionary then it would give me an error so if it's already in the dictionary I'm going to add one to its value otherwise what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it and all we need to do there is to say to add a value to a dictionary I just um, set the value uh, so the set the key and make it equal to uh, the value that I want so the first time it's going to be one isn't it because the first time I can to it it will be the first time so it'll only be one of them so if I run that now um, what that will do is in fact I'll just print alphabet so you can print alphabet just like you can print a list um, so if I run that now let's get let's have some um, text with repeated characters so if I go M I S S I S I -E. okay so Mississippi um, and so when we run that it's counted up the letters so there's one M there are four I's four S's and two P's so it's counted them up um, uh, just as uh, I, I wanted so I can I can use that there are functions if you want to sort there is no sort method like there is with a list um, but there's something called sorted um, so if you do sorted um, and then uh, alphabet what it does is it sorts the keys into order there are ways of getting to uh, getting it to sort so that the the key with the smallest value comes first for example if you look that up there's plenty of help in stack overflow for example um, what you can also do is as well as using it as a list you can turn it into a list so if you then wanted that to just be a list of um, which letters were in the message you can do this you can say list um, alphabet and that will kind of cast it um, to uh, a list so alphabet there we go and I'll turn that into a list um, that creates a copy, a copy of the list though so my original alphabet uh, is still there um, we can use also min and max but again if I use min um, for example what it will tell me is what's the smallest key what's the first key alphabetically in this case which is I again there are other techniques if you want to um, find out which is the key with the smallest value uh, and similarly for max so uh, I'm not going to go into that detail here but you can look that up if you want to if you want to um, remove something from a list uh, if I want to remove the n for example you can pop it same as you can with a list so if I say uh, alphabet um, dot pop and then what I want to pop so we use we use the key and just as with a list it gives us the value 
So it says uh, m has the value of 1, but if I look at alphabet now, uh, we can see that m has been removed from that list. So that's a quick look at um, dictionaries, what they might be used for. They can be used for reference, as in the first case, entering the username, looking up the real name, or in this case, they're also quite useful for um, counting up in this case or you can create a dictionary in our program that can be also useful so have a look in the description of the video for a link to my Huffman coding um, program particularly if you're doing um, the AQA GCSE where Huffman coding is part of the theory content